So last week I treated myself to this little beauty here, the MacBook Air M1. I absolutely love it and I'm going to be making some videos on it over the next few weeks. But don't worry, guys, I'm still a PC gamer, all right? It's not going to be a full Apple channel going forward, but really enjoying it. I picked it up so I can do some sort of light video editing while I'm at work and have something that's, you know, super light in my bag as well. But if there's one thing that you know when you buy an Apple product is that it's not just buying the Apple product straight away you're going to have to buy yourself some accessories and mostly because of the limited ports especially on the macbook air as well which only has two usb-c or thunderbolt ports so you're going to need to buy a hub and you're going to need to add that to the cost um, but luckily the same week a company called cable creation emailed me about this their five in one usb-c hub um, i think they also do a seven and one as well but it's not in stock at the moment at the uk so they sent it over to me so i'm going to take you in for a closer look at it in a minute i'm also going to tell you about my experience with using it with chromebooks as well because it works super well um, and then i'm going to come back at the end of the video and tell you whether you know should you be buying this or not because it's 30 pounds which isn't cheap anyway let's do the unboxing so the unboxing is going to be pretty quick really here it is on the outside of it Okay, this is a five in one USB C adapter from Cable Creation. Nothing really to show, no specs, nothing like that. Now it is very well packaged inside. As you can see here is the hub. Oh, that's nice. Let's have a look at that. There is also a very nice slip case. And it looks like you would be able to fit, you know, a few extra things in here as well. Maybe the things that you're going to be plugging into your device. So that's quite nice to see. Definitely going to use that. It's a big plus there. Then there is a thank you card. All nice. 24 months warranty as well, because um, that is definitely one thing we're going to talk about at the end of the video. You know, the quality of USB hubs and my experience with them over the years. I'm sure you will feel the same as well. And then there is a user manual. Ooh. Now, this here is a Space Gray MacBook Air M1. And ooh, it's not quite matchy matchy. Anyone that wants to go fully matchy matchy Apple device guy, this is slightly off. This almost reminds me of that sort of gun metal gray that Samsung used to use. Um, you know, when they used to make laptops before they stopped making laptops for a bit. Um, some of their older laptops it definitely reminds me of devices that we've got at work samsung based gear now there is two usb 3.0s a ethernet which does up to gigabit ethernet hdmi which goes up to 4k 30 and another usb 3 and here you've got the usb c adapter there it does feel very nice there is, seems to be quite a bit of a bit of quality there but um i'm not entirely keen on the choices that they went for so this is obviously going to use one of my USB-C ports. Obviously, the MacBook Air is like a worst case scenario because it's only got two. Um, but the same could be said if you wanted to use this with an iPad, which has only got one. OK, and they've gone for all USB free connections. Now, this doesn't pass power through either, um, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. So it doesn't pass power through. So my other USB-C port is obviously going to be used for charging the device. Now, I wouldn't have liked three USB type A's. I would have been happy with just one and two USB-C cables, two USB-C inputs, even if you couldn't, you know, pass power through. It just makes more sense to me because the problem is, is most of my devices, you know, I've got cables for both and most that you order now do come with both. So like my SSD enclosure, OK, I've got USB-C on it, but if I want to, it also comes with a cable. So I can plug it straight into this. Great. The problem is now is that I'm carrying two cables in my bag that I don't want to be carrying because if I wasn't using that and I want to plug this into something else, the, my computer at work, front panel USB-C header, this USB-Cs, do you know what I mean? This is where we're going here. So it's an extra cables that you're having to carry because you don't have any more USB-C ports while you're, you know, while you're charging. Okay, see, two ports. It's dire. I don't know why they couldn't put another one on the other side um, of this. And I really miss that it doesn't have MagSafe anymore. I'm sorry if I'm ranting, but I haven't been an Apple user for about eight years. And I was like, why would you get rid of a technology like MagSafe? It was one of the things I used to love about my MacBook. Do you know what I mean? Especially now I've got kids in my life as well. You know, I fear that when they run past the cable. So I'm just ranting and waffling. Um, 
but yeah, I'm not entirely happy with the choices here. Obviously, this is I've been sent and it's obviously going to be useful because I'm going to use it. But if I was going to be buying one myself, it would have to have some USB-C ports on it because, you know, what I mean, I don't want to carry two wires about. But then, you know, let's have a look at the pouch. It's quite nice. So I could put that swing that in like that. Boom. Let's put this one down. Too much stuff in my hand. So that's quite nice. So I can swing that in like that and then I can put my hard drive in the back. So that's pretty decent, but I'm now having to take two cables with me, both my hard drive cables, when I only want to take one. Right then, let's get this all plugged in then. So we've got a HDMI coming from the Lenovo Legion monitor there. That is a 1440p, 165Hz nano IPS display. So we're just going to plug that one in. We've also got a NVMe hard drive in an external enclosure. And there should be. Probably just put my head right, bold head right in front of the camera, the bold spot. And we should have a Ethernet as well. Now I can't see the screen at the moment, is because that's what I normally use for OBS for monitoring. So sorry, this is all over the shop. I really took the mick out of my stepdad as well with his MacBook Pro and all his dongles and stuff he had coming out of the side. So I'm going to try and keep my stuff to a minimum. So there we are then, it's all plugged in and it's all working. Now, one thing I want to go over as well is that I did use this dock with my um, Chromebook as well. Everything worked exactly as it should. Ethernet, hard drives, monitors, all of that stuff all worked fine. That's with a HP Chromebook 15. I just didn't want to do the same thing twice today. So we need to go into display settings. And I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see on screen, but on the Mac, there's an option. It's called Gather Windows. I know we don't want that one. Arrangement. Sorry, I've only been using Mac for about a week for the first time in 10 years. So that now should, hey, yeah, there we go. Mouse is in the right position. Now, the options I get here are up to 75 hertz. But if I use 75 hertz, it does black out on me. Um, the screen doesn't show a thing. I can do 72, but then it drops out every now and then. Obviously, this can do up to 4K 30. I would fully recommend that you keep it at sort of 2K and under, like 30 hertz, even on the desktop experience. I just don't think it's good enough. Um, and I don't think it's really that enjoyable. If you want to use a 4K display, you're going to want to find one that does 4K 60. So my hard drive is connected. Let's just copy, copy one of these Lewitt from the Lewitt microphone that I'm using here in the review. So that's copying it over now. Um, you don't really get to see how quick it's doing it, but it does seem a little bit slower because um, this is going to be USB 3. And I think that's a Gen 2, although they claim it's a Gen 2, but it's only a Gen 1 um, SSD there. But there is an Evo 960 in there, so I do need to get a faster caddy for that at some point. So that's all copy and fine. And the next thing we're going to do is let's just turn the Wi-Fi off. There will be lots of Mac videos coming on the channel over the next few weeks, but don't think I'm going all Mac. I still need a PC for lots of stuff um so there we go google let's just go to oh <laughs> so force of habit i'm typing on the uh, keyboard bbc news yeah there we go all loading up all fine who wants to read the news anyway because it's just horrific all the time so that works fine i'm interested actually now using a dual display on how final cut looks because it's just uh, especially for a software I'm new to. I think once I've used it a lot, I'll be fine using it on the M1 screen because it is a beautiful um, 16, it's just over 1440p, I think it is, 2560 by 1600 display here. Let's have a look, but this looks this looks a lot better. So here's some gaming footage I converted to ProRes. And as you can see, it's just, it sweeps through it so fast. I mean, this thing shouldn't be as quick as it is. I, I know I'm deviating. <laughs> um from the actual dock but yeah this works really well no no sort of you just find this let's have a look is there any lag between not anything noticeable nice and snappy here obviously i know it's at 60 hertz but everything is moving away moving around fine and the color reproduction of this lenovo monitor is just insane it is insane so then usb c hubs or just usb hubs in general now one thing i know for every usb hub that i've got here that i've been some i've been using for almost a decade you know that you're just going to plug in all of your other devices that you know don't need high bandwidth just all those extra things maybe like led lights or little desk fans all of this stuff for every one i've bought there's been about nine or ten that are just dreadful okay 
you cheap out and then generally the cable breaks on it within a week. You know, we've all been there. It's all happened, okay? You just, you know, it just ends up breaking. Then you buy yourself a decent cable for it. And then you should have actually just bought one from Anchor or TP Link. Do you know what I mean? You should have just gone out and just bought that one anyway. Um, so that's the same as far as I'm concerned with USB C hubs. So if you buying this or thinking about buying this and you're watching a video in two or three months' time, ask me how it's going. Cause I am going to be pretty much using it daily at work to plug in my work monitor and all of those things. But you know, I have to ask myself now, if I was going to be buying this, would I be spending the £30 on it? Because like I said, it doesn't have that USB-C. So for the MacBook Air, um, it's a little bit of a weakness for me. And the same with the Chromebook as well, because that only has two USB-C ports on it, my Chromebook. But it's also got a Type-A USB on it as well. So not type no anything. So the first one, well, I'm all in caps, I look angry. So let's have a look at this thing here. See, we've got this from Ugreen here, $21.99, okay? It plugs in, it uses both of your ports, but you get charging port, no USB-C after that, so it's probably still a dud. But it's going to be really nice and streamlined on your thing. Plus, you get a HDMI. There are some better ones like this one here that's been, it says limited time deal, but this one's been like £30 for the last month. Look at this. We get a power port, another USB-C. We get HDMI. We've got Ethernet. And we've got SD and that USB Type A. I mean, if I was going to be buying one for £30, it would be this one right here. But that's not going to be for everyone because it uses both of the ports, okay? So if we just say USB C with Ethernet, let's have a little look. This is probably going to be the last time Cable Creation send me anything. Um, oh, USB C hub. Let's have a look. You know, you need to assess your competition before you price something. So here we go. Look at this one here. Generally quite good reviews. So we've got that USB-C that I wanted. That's not going to have power delivery though. Two USBs. And then we've got the Ethernet. Ethernet and power. See, this is where it does become a little bit more expensive here. Okay. Obviously, we've seen that other nice dock one, but we want to, you know, it's nice to have one of those ports free. Maybe you want to plug your hard drive directly into it for that extra speed. Um, but th there we go. Not much more. And here's Anchor's version of it. I actually think this is probably. Ah, Anchor's one's got USB-Cs on it as well. Um, here's Ugreen's. See, Ugreen again, USB-C on theirs. So... It all comes down to would I recommend this for £20? Yes. £30? Sorry, guys. Anyway, that's it for me today. I'll um, be back with some more content very soon. Um, and I'm sure this is probably going to be the last time Cable Creation sent me anything. But, you know, you need to price your stuff in line with everything else um if you have any questions about this though if you are buying it maybe it's on a deal or anything else like that if you want to know how i'm getting on with it two three six months down the line um let me know because i'll tell you if there's been any faults random disconnects and all of that stuff as well make sure you subscribe and yeah i'll be back with some more macbook rm1 videos very soon